Good evening here are tonight's top stories. A decomposed body is discovered in an East Kanj house. A gold miner faces charges for a 2021 incident involving the loss of Royston Frank's life. In legal updates, a Haslington man is remanded on an illicit drug possession charge, while an Eccles resident faces similar charges. Anne's Grove Clothes vendor pleads guilty to illicit drug possession. Also, a man receives a nine-month jail sentence for stealing from a Bardica church. In other news, a hit-and-run incident shocks James and Bar Streets, Albuistown. Police investigate an alleged loss of life in Heathburn Village, East Bank Burbis. The Labor Ministry launches a probe into a mechanics electrocution incident. And tragedy strikes as a 30-year-old fisherman is stabbed to death in charity. Stay tuned for the details of these stories. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more news. Man pleads guilty to stealing from Bardica Church, sentenced to nine months in jail. Bardica, Region 7, Mario Singh, a 37-year-old construction worker, was sentenced to nine months in jail after pleading guilty to stealing from the Good News Fellowship Full Gospel Church in Bardica. Singh appeared before Magistrate Tarek Mohammed at the Bardica Magistrate's Court this morning. He admitted to breaking into the church over the weekend and stealing various items, including four cases of Malta valued at $20,000, three cases of Thrill Soft Drink valued at $7,800, one music box valued at $150,000. After hearing the charges, Singh entered a guilty plea. Magistrate Mohammed subsequently handed down the nine-month prison sentence, bringing the case to a swift conclusion. Police investigating alleged loss of life in Heathburn Village, East Bank Burbis. Police are investigating an alleged murder that took place on June 17, 2024, at approximately 10.30 a.m. in Heathburn Village, East Bank Burbis. The deceased has been identified as Tyrone France, a 28-year-old unemployed male of Guyanese Amerindian descent. France resided at 42 Stanley Town, New Amsterdam, Burbis. France was discovered on the roadside, allegedly badly beaten. Public-spirited persons transported him to the hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries. Authorities have taken five individuals into custody in connection with the incident. Investigations are ongoing as police work to uncover the circumstances surrounding France's death. Anyone with information is urged to contact the nearest police station to assist with the investigation. Decomposed body discovered in East Kanj House. Burbis at Guyana, police in Burbis are investigating the circumstances surrounding the discovery of a severely decomposed body at a house located in the Ordnance Fortland Scheme, East Kanj. Authorities received an anonymous call at approximately 18.15 hours on Monday, reporting a foul smell emanating from the building. In response, a police team was dispatched to the location, where they discovered the decomposed body of a man seated in a chair. The deceased has been identified as 60-year-old Gandela Babulal. According to reports, Babulal was last seen alive about five days ago. The body was in an advanced state of decomposition, indicating it had been there for several days. A post-mortem examination will be conducted to determine the cause of death as investigations continue. Police are appealing to anyone with information related to the case to come forward. Hit-and-run incident at James and Bar Streets, Albuistown. A hit-and-run incident occurred on Thursday, June 13, 2024, at the intersection of James and Bar Streets in Albuistown, involving a motor vehicle with license plate PXX 1113 and a motorcycle ridden by Kirk Blades. According to reports, the driver of the vehicle failed to stop at the intersection and struck Blades' motorcycle. Blades sustained injuries to his head and foot and was promptly taken to the Georgetown Public Hospital by public-spirited citizens. Eyewitnesses stated that the driver, along with a female occupant, fled the scene immediately after the accident and have not been located since. Kirk Blades filed a report on the incident at the Ruinvelt Police Station, and authorities are currently investigating. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of the driver or the vehicle involved is urged to contact the Ruinvelt Police Station. Gold miner charged with taking the life of Royston Frank in 2021 incident. Aaron David, known as Chinese, a 27-year-old gold miner from Falls Top, NWD, has been formally charged with the murder of 22-year-old Royston Frank. 
The crime allegedly occurred between November 6 and 7, 2021, at Big Creek Landing, NWD. David, who had been on the run since the incident, was apprehended on June 15, 2024, at 13.30 hours. He appeared before Principal Magistrate Sherdell Isaacs Marcus at the Port Kaituma Police Station at around 11 o'clock hours this morning to answer the murder charge. The defendant was not required to enter a plea and has been remanded to prison. The arrest marks the end of a lengthy manhunt and brings a significant development to the case that has been under investigation since late 2021. The legal proceedings will continue as the case moves forward in the judicial system. Fisherman, 30, stabbed to death at Charity. A 30-year-old fisherman was on Sunday stabbed to death at Charity, Region 2, allegedly by a man who accused him of having a relationship with the mother of his children. Dead is Avian Ash Singh, a resident of Charity Squatting Area, Essequibo Coast. Police headquarters confirmed the stabbing occurred around 19.00 HRS at a shop owned by the 25-year-old mother of the suspect's children. Singh and some friends were imbibing at the shop where the suspect was also present. According to a police report, investigations revealed that the suspect had previously accused Singh of having an affair with the woman. On the day in question, police said Singh was seen collecting his ID and bank cards from the woman. Singh then left the shop and went to the street. He was followed by the suspect. While they were about 10 feet away, police said the suspect held on to Singh and dealt him several slaps about his face. The suspect then whipped out a knife from his pants waist and dealt Singh three stabs to his chest. Singh fell to the ground. He was picked up in an unconscious state and rushed to the Charity Cottage Hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries while receiving medical attention. The suspect, a 29-year-old fisherman also from Charity Squatting Area, made good his escape on foot. He was subsequently arrested and is currently in custody assisting with the investigation. Labor Ministry launches probe into mechanics electrocution incident. The Ministry of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health OSH, Department has launched an investigation into the tragic death of 32-year-old Ramraj Palakadari, who was electrocuted on Friday morning in Fulis, East Coast Demerara. Palakadari, a resident of Haslington, East Coast Demerara and a mechanic by profession, met his untimely demise at approximately 7.39 a.m. outside SE Auto Sale and Spare Parts. Reports indicate that he was preparing a crane for display when the arm of the crane inadvertently made contact with a nearby electrical wire, transmitting 13,800 volts of electricity through the equipment. This resulted in Palakadari suffering severe burns to his hands, torso, and feet while he was operating the crane's controls in ordinary clothing and slippers. Eyewitnesses stated that upon witnessing the incident, the proprietor of SE Auto Sale and Spare Parts attempted to rescue Palakadari but received an electric shock himself, necessitating medical attention. Emergency services, including the police, emergency medical technicians, EMT, and personnel from the Guyana Power and Light, GPL, responded promptly to the scene. Despite efforts, Palakadari succumbed to his injuries, and undertakers later removed his body. The investigation into the incident is being led by OSH officer Johanna Vaughn, with assistance from OSH officer Ray Hassana. Labor Minister Joseph Hamilton has underscored the critical importance of stringent health and safety measures in workplaces to prevent such tragic accidents. He expressed sincere condolences to the bereaved family and friends of the deceased, acknowledging the profound impact of workplace fatalities on loved ones. In response to a recent increase in workplace accidents, the Labor Ministry has intensified its inspection efforts. Recently, a two-day inspection was conducted at construction sites on Eping Avenue and Lamaha Street, Georgetown. Led by OSH officer Ray Hassana and supported by students from the University of Guyana, the inspections aim to ensure compliance with safety regulations and provide on-site guidance to workers. The ministry has issued recommendations to management to rectify safety breaches within a specified time frame as part of ongoing efforts to enhance safety across various sectors. The investigation into Palakadari's electrocution remains ongoing, with authorities committed to determining the circumstances surrounding this tragic incident. For further updates on this developing story, the ministry encourages the public and relevant stakeholders to stay informed through official channels. Eccles resident remanded on illicit drug possession charge. 
Jermaine Josiah, a 28-year-old construction worker from Eccles, was remanded to prison today following his arrest on June 14, 2024, for possession of 907.2 grams of marijuana. Josiah appeared at the Diamond Magistrate's Court before Magistrate Sunil Scarce, where he was formally charged with the offense of possession of narcotics for the purpose of trafficking. Josiah entered a plea of not guilty. Despite his plea, Magistrate Scarce remanded Josiah to prison pending further proceedings. Anne's Grove Clothes vendor pleads guilty to illicit drug possession charge. Troy Sertimer, a 50-year-old clothes vendor from Lot 35 Middle Watkins Grove, was fined $30,000 after pleading guilty to a charge of possession of narcotics. Sertimer appeared before Magistrate Peter Hugh at the Cove and John Magistrate's Court today. He was arrested on June 17, 2024, with 26.9 grams of cannabis in his possession. After the charge was read to him, Sertimer entered a guilty plea. Magistrate Hugh subsequently imposed the fine, bringing the case to a close. Haslington Man Remanded on Illicit Drug Possession Charge Wade Morrison, a 41-year-old construction worker from Haslington New Scheme, has been remanded to prison following his court appearance today on charges of possession of narcotics for the purpose of trafficking. Morrison was arrested on June 14, 2024, with 895 grams of cannabis. He appeared before Magistrate Peter Hugh at the Cove and John Magistrate's Court, where he was formally charged. Morrison entered a plea of not guilty. Magistrate Hugh subsequently remanded Morrison to prison. The case has been adjourned until July 10, 2024, when further proceedings will take place.